Hi everyone. It is March 22nd, 2018. You come across these people. They do so much damage and create an awful lot of suffering for people around the world. And you don't know what to do with them. They're in positions of power and because of our corrupt system they stay in those positions creating only more and more suffering. They have a tremendous amount of money. They live fine lives. They're always warm, eating wonderful food, and living a great life. And they're responsible for so many people who end up homeless, end up living lives just filled with stress due to due to government policy that puts them in a circumstance of forever worrying about paying bills and holding on to their home their only asset you know, Look, we know, we know the ripple effect of these people. But what is it that you do? Well, you know, I, I kind of vacillate between anger and feeling very sorry for these people because their own damage, their own deranged souls begin to manifest and it becomes very obvious that something is so wrong with them. And even on a national stage, a world stage, they begin to exhibit their own decline. But they don't move off the stage. And those around them don't take them off the stage. And you just begin to see what they have become. Now, what Nancy Pelosi exhibits in this video, I think a lot of you can relate to having difficulty talking now. Because of all of the poisons, our environment becoming so toxic that it has created for many of us a lot of cognitive difficulties and many have expressed in the comment section below below many of my videos talking about how they or writing about how they are having difficulty talking pronouncing words slurring speech but we're not the house minority leader and we're not on a national stage or a world stage these people need to go. Now, they needed to go a long time ago, but Californians, how can you not see, and I know that many of you do see, but how is it that this, this Nancy Pelosi continues to be in office when she has, throughout the years, increasingly shown that something is very wrong with her brain. Listen to this. And it's painful to listen to. Wow. Wasn't that great? Wasn't that great? Oh, no. As representatives, you see so many of you in the Office of Strategic Services, as the longest serving member of the Intel Congressional Intelligence Committee, I know very well, but couldn't possibly know as well as you, how great your contribution was to the success of America in World War II. Uh, to welcome you on behalf of many of my colleagues, and many House colleagues and Senate colleagues who are here today. And in intelligence, and when we're, um, especially uh, some years gone by, uh, to f protect our troops, I hope you take great satisfaction. Your heroism hidden from the public, American public. We celebrate your vital role and we ensure the sacrifices 
as we ensure the sacrifices that you made. During the darkness of World War II, the men and women of the OSS fought bravely. Men and women fought bravely. It's a source of great pride that one full third of OSS patriots and three battalions of French resistance, resistance forces mapped drop zones, arranged safe house, intrepid women are vital, were vital to the Allied victory. Our post-war strength for decades to come. When OSS Director Bill Donovan passed away, OSS veterans, for your brilliance, bravery, and exceptional daring, we are very grateful and very honored to participate, bestowing you the Congressional Gold Medal, to participate, bestowing you. Okay, so um, you can clearly hear that something is wrong with Nancy Pelosi. Who are here today. And I have to say, you know, in many ways, Nancy Pelosi reminds me of my mother, who is a malignant narcissist. And when you really do the research and learn how to spot a narcissist, then you can see them quite easily, readily, very quickly operating in positions of power. For that reason alone, they should not be in those positions of power because they will do an awful lot of harm. Their footprint, their footprint, their life footprint will it, it will rack up so much damage for so many people. Now, Nancy Pelosi, you know that this woman is just, she embodies evil. She, she's the personification of evil. How is it that we, how is it that we have gotten to the point where even when we know evil is running this government, that we can never put a stop to it, that it just continues on and on. And they get to create more and more suffering for so many people on a daily basis, how is it that we cannot stop them? That's what I'd like to know. Now, if, if we were a people of sound mind, collectively speaking, if we were a healthy people, we would never permit these people to occupy positions of power, certainly not for as long as they have. So that they have and they continue on these Nancy Pelosi's that we have in our government and they've been there for 30 years, 25 years, 35 years, 40 years in these positions and we've never gotten rid of them. That reflects upon us that we've allowed it. So when we look at these people and we understand that they are not of sound mind, we also need to take a look at ourselves and recognize that we too are not really of very healthy sound minds for allowing them to be in these positions. For getting trapped for allowing them to manipulate us and to, and to have power over us. But when they begin to break down, and it's so obvious, and the breakdown we get to see over and over and over again, and they still remain in these positions, God, what does that say about us? I don't know, you know, I, 
there are times and it's I do think because this woman actually does remind me of my mother that I have compassion for her at times I think to myself Jesus you know she is such a kind of caricature a, car a cartoon she's a cartoon figure that we watch this woman can't even speak anymore intelligibly she can't pronounce words she often says the wrong words and I know that many of us do but we're not the House Minority Leader in Congress. Do you understand what I'm saying? But it's an embarrassment. Because these people do reflect the American people on the whole. And we have become so glaringly, so obviously criminally corrupt with sick and deranged leaders. We've become a joke of a people. Like we're the laughing stock. You know, we still walk around with this arrogance, thinking that we are so superior, so great. We Americans, we're the smart people and the moral people. Ra ra, number one, number one. And it nothing could be further from the truth. Californians, <laughs> you need to go to this woman's office. And I don't know, involuntarily commit her to a hospital. Because it's clear that she needs help. But that she's been your senator for so long it's also clear that you need help. But it's also clear that all of us need help. I live in South Carolina. Lindsey Graham is the senator here. South Carolinians, you need help. And I could go on and what I was saying is true for all 50 states, we need help because we're allowing this. We are allowing these people to remain in office. It is so sad what we have become here. 